This is lesson 1.4, subtraction of real numbers in elementary algebra. And uh, we're just going to jump over to uh, <clears throat> example number three. It's very similar to what we did in the last lesson. And uh, what we do is we don't subtract numbers. We pretty much add their opposites. So we're not subtracting three here we're adding the opposite of 3. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to change everything to a plus sign. So we're going to change that. We're going to leave that alone because it's already a plus sign. Then we're going to do this and make that a plus sign. And then we can go ahead and solve this from there. Alright, so remember last time what I said. Add these two numbers together. The signs are different. You take the difference between the two and put the sign of the largest number, positive 7, on your answer and we're going to leave that one alone. Now we've got two numbers here. Signs are different. We're going to take the difference between the two, put the sign of the largest number on there, and we're done. When I have 8 minus negative 2 minus 6. Alright, when you have two negatives side by side like this, we change them both to positives and continue on. Um, so we're going to leave that as 8 plus 2, and we're going to change that to plus negative 6. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus negative 6. Signs are different. We're going to take the difference, put the sign of the largest one on there, which would be a positive 4, or you can just get rid of that and get 4 for your answer. Uh, when we look at C, let's go ahead and erase some of this stuff here so we have more room. Oh, golly. There's a lot of stuff here to erase. All right, so C. We've got negative 2 minus negative 3 plus 1 minus 5. Okay, we're going to do what's in the in parentheses first. Negative 3 plus 1. We take the uh, difference between the two since the signs are different. Put the sign of the largest number on there. Now we're going to change that and that to plus numbers. So negative 2, because these signs here are both minus and they're right next to each other, we just change that to positive because two negatives make a positive. And we're going to change this to a plus negative 5. Go from left to right. Signs are different. We take the difference between 2 and 2. The difference is 0. And we have a negative 5. So 0 plus negative 5 is negative 5. So now we get a monster in example 4. We have 2 times 5. We're going to subtract 3 times 8. We're going to subtract 4 times 9. Okay, remember PEMDAS. It says do the multiplication first. So we're going to do this, and we're going to multiply those, and we're going to multiply those. So let's do that. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 8 is 24, 4 times 9 is 36. Notice I brought the negatives down here. I just multiplied the numbers. Now I'm going to write them as a plus 10 plus negative 24 plus negative 36. Positive 10 plus negative 24. Take the difference between the two since they have different signs, and I get 14. The largest number is negative. And then I've got this here. Signs are the same. So I add them together, put the sign on there, and I'm done. Now let's look at example 5. We're going to put not only multiplication, but we're going to do some things with exponents. Okay, PEMDAS says we're going to do parentheses first. We have none. Then we're going to do exponents. So we ignore everything else. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 4 is 16. So we did the, pen, the, the, the uh, E on PEMDAS. Now we do the multiplication from left to right. So 24, leave our minus sign alone, 32. Now we're going to change this to 24 plus negative 32. Signs are different, so we're going to take the difference between the two and put the sign of the largest one on the answer. Okay, so when we get to example 6, notice what it says. Subtract 7 from negative 3. 
This is not 7 minus 3. It says subtract 7 from negative 3. So it's going to look like that. We're taking 7 away from negative 3. So we're going to rewrite this as negative 3 plus negative 7. Remember, change it to a plus sign and put a negative. Signs are the same, so we add them, put the signs on there, and we're done. Example 7 is the same way. Subtract negative 5 from 2, so it's subtracting negative 5 from 2. Notice we have two negatives next to each other. We just make them positive and add them together. So all of this is just a lot of memorizing, a lot of remembering what's going on here. Noted, knowing that if two negatives are side by side, you're going to change them to positives, etc. Um, number 8 says find the difference between 9 and 2. Difference means subtract, so you're just going to subtract those. Um, example 9, find the difference between 3 and negative 5. If I'm finding the difference, that means I'm taking it away, which means I put a plus sign and get 8. Um, let's see, when I look at number 10, example 10, write the mathematical expression that is equivalent to the phrase 9 less than the difference of 8 of x and negative 4. 9 less than the difference of x and negative 4. So the difference of x and negative 4 means we're going to subtract negative 4 from x, the difference between x and negative 4. So, this symbol right there is your difference symbol, the difference between x and negative 4. And what are they doing? 9 less than that. So they're going to take this whole thing, and they're going to take 9 less than that. So they're going to take 9 away. So that's what would be the example. These things here get to be really, really tricky. And the only way you're going to get those down is if you continue practicing them. It's not like this magic formula that you're going to memorize or anything and it's always going to work for you. You're going to forget. You're going to make mistakes along the way. But this is part of following the instructions and making sure you get what's going on. So that's it for lesson 1.4.